It's not an award season if Octavia Spencer does not have a new movie out with <laughs> promise of an Oscar. <laughs> no. <laughs> The movie is Hidden Figures, fantastic untold story. Fill us in on the, the background of this movie. What is this movie about? Hidden Figures is, uh, follows the story of three women, three mathematicians who were integral uh, in getting our first astronauts to and from space safely. It centers around Katherine Johnson, the character played by Taraji Henson, because she actually was the person to come up with that algorithm. So you got but John Glenn, John Glenn into, Glenn orbit, which into orbit, which is what like sort of brought us almost up to speed in the space. Right. Race. Yeah. She came up with that. Janelle Monet is also in the film. Yes. She plays Mary Jackson. Yes. Who became I the believe the first, first aerospace African, right. African American aerospace engineer, female engineer. Tell me about Dorothy Vaughn, the character who you play. Dorothy Vaughn, she basically was the uh, acting supervisor of the African American computers. But she And the when you say they were called colored computers. Yes. And it was a room full of women who did math. They did math. They actually did all the calculations and trajectories of the flight missions. Yeah. What does this movie say to us today? It, which says something very different even than when you made the movie. Mm -hmm. Because during the election and since the election, uh, it seems like bigotry mm -hmm. and hate speech, racism has become so much louder in our discourse. Mm -hmm. and what do you think what do you think we have to learn from these women who wanted to make change? Well, I got to tell you, truth be told, this is organic because I actually lived this not two, uh, two or three weeks ago. Yes, uh, the discourse is just, you know, pervasive with that kind of language. But when you think about Dorothy and Catherine and Mary and all of the female computers, both black and white, the African-American women were living in a time where segregation was the letter of the law. They had, their, they had to go to their restrooms, mm -hmm. their water fountains, yeah. They didn't have the right to vote. Um, they were basically treated as second-class citizens, but they weren't complaining. They knew that they had more to offer, and they basically rolled up their sleeves and they did the work to be a part of something greater than themselves, and they did. Their contributions to the space program, we're still, you know, feeling the impact of it today. So I think what we can learn from them in light of the climate that, you know, depending on which side of the coin you're on uh, politically, is no matter what's going on, you have power. The individual has power, but together, you know, we are many. Hey, everybody, don't forget to like this video and leave a comment if you enjoyed it or if you didn't enjoy it. And for more of the Jess Cagle interview, click on the subscribe button down here. We've got plenty of other great videos for you too. Check them out by clicking on one of these links.